Hello and welcome back to Simply Solo Playthroughs with the Chipmunk Gamer, that's me. And we are here today with Star Wars The Deck Building Game. This is a fun game. What we end up with is we start with the Empire going first as usual. This is the leader's solo variant. So we start with... turned over those are for me I already have to set up we have three to purchase with and they will purchase a capital ship stormtrooper has two damage and can only do two damage to Dactylene goes back to the muster pile we are five cards we have four oh and their track goes up by one so we have four to purchase with two to do damage transport or nah we'll go on ahead and buy that so that takes care of three of these We have two to do damage with. And we will do, oh, look at this. Maybe I shouldn't have bought so fast. And we have one extra. So we actually have two. So we will go ahead and take out one TIE Fighter. And a second TIE Fighter. That gives us two. So we have four to purchase with. We'll go on ahead and buy the Rebel Transport. And the Snow Speeder. And that takes care of our turn. We draw back up to five. And they get a Stormtrooper plus their three. Okay, so they have three. They will buy an Outer Rim Pilot. takes them down to one and two can they do any sniping no they cannot do any sniping so they will go on ahead and do two more to Datooine to the rebel turn oh they move up by two which does mean they get one force Which unfortunately takes away from me getting an extra one. So we have three, possibly four to purchase with. We can do three damage total. When you purchase this unit, exile one card from your hand or discard pile up to two cards of the forces with you. I am in for that. So we will use the Temple Guardian. We will have four. We will purchase the Mercenary. We will go on over here and... Let's see what he's replaced with. Oh, we will definitely... Okay. So we will, so he goes to my discard pile. These go away. These guys have been used. This gives me a rebel trooper. I will shoot the TIE fighter down for one. And 
That is all I can do. I will shoot a Lothal for one. Okay, so we have Stormtrooper. They get a cruiser, which will give them a grand total of five to purchase with. And there's no capital ship to buy. They will buy the most expensive card they can do, which will be Moth. They only have two to shoot with. So that was five, four, that leaves them one. Ah, maybe I should have left the TIE Fighter. That probably would have been a good idea. He cannot do anything, so that's going to give me six to Dantooine. Stormtrooper goes back up. We need a shuffle. Oh, and we forgot to move them up. They get one more force and they gain the Inquisitor, which is on the bottom. Okay, so we have four to purchase with, four to fight with. Nobody we can actually take out. Oh, this is tough. Okay, I'm going to go with the Hawk. That would have been nice to have. And we have four to snipe with. And there's nothing that we can snipe. So we get to go on ahead and do three damage to the cruiser. And that's out. And that is the end of my turn. Okay, so we're going to get some force back towards us. So we have the Inquisitor will move the force one. We have three four, five to purchase with. We'll buy the smuggler. And the Keldor Mystic. Stormtrooper again can only do two damage and he cannot damage anybody. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. That takes care of Dan Tuin. And I am down by one base. My next base is Solist. Massive Fleet, when Solist is your base, place the first card you purchase each turn on the top of your deck. Oh, I like that. By the way, the bases are chosen at random. We have a Rebel Transport. Repair two damage from your base or gain one. So we will gain one, two, three. We will take two force. When the force is with you, he gains two to strike with. Because the force is with us. And we only have three to purchase with. Exile one card from hand or discard pile. If we get rid of the type bomber. So the trooper will get rid of the type bomber. We get to exile a card is not him. I guess we one of these. Okay, so that leaves us two. Ooh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. So 
So again, we only have four to purchase with. There's nothing we can really purchase with. Exile this unit to gain. Okay, so we will go on ahead and buy two Outer Rim Pilots. That takes care of our purchasing. We still have two damage to do. And we will go after Lothal. We get two cards. Okay, we got some good attack. Wow, we got a lot of attack next turn. Not a lot of buying. That's really tempting to go for this. You can get the leader. The leader, you just gain the reward. And that's it. Okay, so we have... Wow, four to attack. Inquisitor will move this back. We have three, four, five to purchase. We did not move that forward last time. So that will be six to purchase with. And an Outer Rim Pilot. Okay. Store. Oh, I'm sorry. Damage. We have four to five, five. Okay. So Moth will do two. And the Stormtrooper will do two to sol Solist. All right, so our turn. Okay, so first of all, we have the Snow Speeder. They will discard lowest card. We have one. Move the force over here. <sighs> nothing we, oh look at this, nothing we can really do. Wow. Okay, so. And there's nothing we could even, um. Okay, let's not do the force. We're going to go on ahead and do this. We'll do two so we can get a rebel transport. Oh, first card goes on the top of my deck. We have another mercenary. There's nothing I can do. So I have six, eight damage. Lothal is gone. And that's the end of our turn, because there's nothing else that we can do. And next turn... We have a lot of purchasing next turn. Okay, we go to the Empire turn. So, first of all, two to here. Three, two, three... Move one more. No, he will do... Can't really do damage. So it's four, five, six, seven, eight. I did not move that up last time. Hmm. Eight to purchase with. I wonder what they're going to buy. And that leaves them one left over. Moves up by two. Darth Vader is going to be... Oh no. 
Okay, so we get a Rebel Transport. Choose to repair two damage to your base, which we will do. We have two, four, eight to purchase with. Draw one card, two if the four, if Moon is in play. So we will buy Han Solo. First card goes to the top of the deck. So that was uh, five. That leaves us three. And we'll buy an X-Wing. And that is all that we can do. That was not very good. Yeah, bummer. Okay, so we've got some cards. And it is their turn. Okay, I accidentally discarded the Stormtrooper. They are together now because of the snow speeder. So we start with two. Wow. Okay, so first of all, we're going to purchase. Pull that one's out. So they have one, four, five, six. Well, that's seven actually. And the Inquisitor will do one damage. Seven to purchase with. Where do we start? We start with the most expensive capital ship that we can purchase. Takes us down to two and then we will buy a scout trooper. Yes, Scout Trooper it is. Okay, so they will go on ahead and snipe for one. Oh, the Inquisitor has the one. Means they get one here. And there's no one else they can snipe, so this will do two. Get rid of the rebel transport. Two, five, seven. Wow, a lot of damage, and I forgot to. Oh, there's no, because it's only eight. Okay, Kessel. No, that is incorrect. So gain the shuttle, move highest cost empire or neutral cards from the galaxy road to the enemy muster area. Oh, that's going to hurt. That is going to hurt. Danger is actually really good. Okay, so he's out. And that gives us two, so they'll purchase another one. Oh, yeah, okay, so we already did the damage. Okay, that's the end of the Empire turn. He goes back, he goes away, and he goes away. Up by one. What is this? Okay, first of all, we will move Force 2 in our direction. He's done. We have 2, 4, 6 to purchase with. Card from your hand or discard. That's really tempting. That's also really tempting. 
Or I have two, four, six. Okay, we will take Danger. Oh no. And a bounty hunter. We have two, only two shoot with. And we cannot get General Veers. So we will go after Kessel. And we have, oh, just one card, just Danger. Well, at least I'm gonna be able to purchase something. That's for sure. So they only get the Star Destroyer. Which does give them four. The Inquisitor is going to go to, to guns, which will get rid of the Which will we'll do the force that way. They have one, two, three, four to purchase with. They will buy a capital ship. And that's all they can purchase. They gain the leader. Which means starting next turn when he shows up. We will um, start getting into a lot of trouble. Okay, so first of all we're going to do... I like this. Okay, so we're going to do a whole bunch of stuff here. So we're going to shoot General Veers. Which gives us three. One, two, three in the fours. We then have two, four, five, nine, plus two for Danger, which is 11 to purchase with. So we will buy the Mon Calamari Cruiser. Yeah, which goes to the top of our pile. How much was that? Six. So it leaves us with five. And we will take the B wing. And then we will exile both of the pilots to move the force up by two. And that is the end of our turn. Okay, exile this card to repair four damage to your base. We will do that. Because we really need to have the base as good as we can. Okay, they get... Okay, so they have... Okay, four smooths in there. Wait, two. And then they will have... Two, four, six, plus four is seven. The Inquisitor will move his one force towards them. They have seven to purchase with. They will buy the Imperial Cruiser. Okay, so that is the end of purchasing. 
And then we will go to attack, which will be two, four, six. They only go after the planet at this time. And that is the end of their turn. We have a Montcalmary Cruiser. Ooh, just does three damage, nothing extra. Two, we can move the lowest card, which will be the cruiser. Darth Vader is going to do enough damage as it is. Can we do? No, we cannot move the force. But we can do five damage. So we are going to do Rebel Trooper and the Montcalm Mary Cruiser. We will take out Director Krennic, which will move Force in our direction by two. Plus we gain three, four. If the Force is with you, draw a card. Good. Okay, so this gives us one to purchase with. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, plus we have the three here, so that's four to purchase with. And we will take the Corvette. Okay, so we are done purchasing. Five and four. So we will do five damage here. And then we'll do five damage and then the four damage. And that is the end of our turn. It is Empire's turn. They have Dark Batter. Bad news. Two force, one, two, so it's neutral. So force is not with him, but he still has six damage, which is enough to get rid of the Mon Calamari Cruiser. They have, oh, okay, the Inquisitor moves it up by one to put it into their favor, which is gonna give Darth Vader four, which I don't think he can do anything with because he would have to attack separately the base because he'd have 10 to do, and you cannot split them up. So I think this is going to be accurate. So we then have five to purchase with. And they will buy IG-88. Okay, that's the end of their turn. We, we do not have that much damage. Hammerhead. Exile is capital to destroy a capital ship your opponent has in play or an enemy capital ship in the row. Okay, so we have two, three, four. We will go on ahead and Use the Temple Garden to make it neutral. Attacking in the target row. We don't have anything to attack in the target row. So the Rodian Gunslinger is not going to help. We have two, four to purchase with. Yes, we will buy the corner and the Mercenary. And we will get rid of two cards. One, two, perfect. First one is bot. Oh, long pile. Not that that's much better. And we have, and I don't have anything else to shoot with. Bomber. Okay, we're going to not use a temple guardian. We will go on ahead and use them for damage. So that'll be four, five. So we gain three resources and two force. And, and, oh. 
three resources. Your opponent discards one card from your... Okay. So we will go on ahead and buy the Rebel Commando. So as I recall, I already bought a card. Yes, I did. I still don't have a lot of damage. Okay, so we get the Imperial Carrier, Stormtrooper, and the Kazanti Carrier. We have move the Inquisitor will move it so it's neutral. We have five to purchase with. Which will be the most expensive card that they can purchase. And four damage, which will be enough to take out the Hammerhead Corvette. First of all, we're going to move the Force 2 in our favor. So he'll gain 2 to strike with. We get to draw a card, which we're going to actually wait on. We have 3 to purchase. We have 3 to purchase. Okay, we're going to wait on purchasing. We are going to use the X-Wing to take out the TIE Interceptor. That will give us six. Great. Okay. So we have three to purchase. If your opponent has a capital ship and play, draw one card. Okay, I'm in. Okay, so we have... I can buy... What's what, one? I guess I'll buy the trooper. Okay, so we now need to go shooting. Four, five, six, plus three is nine. Okay, so let's look at how we're going to do this. Lando will take, I mean, Lando Han will take out that one. This gives us enough to take out the Star Destroyer. So they still have the Imperial Carrier left. That's it for our turn. Okay, there's going to be a lot of damage tonight. One here, two there, one for the Inquisitor. We will then go on ahead and we'll one, two, three, four, five. They will buy one Jawa Scavenger, leaving them with four. And that gives them more than enough to take out Solust. And that does not flip over until my turn. IG-88 is out. My turn. When you play a neutral card for the first time, each turn draw one card. Oh, nice. Okay, first of all, we're going to use the Temple Guardian to move to neutrality. And I only have one point to purchase with. Okay, so we are going to go... Opponent has a capital ship and play, draw one card. Okay, hold on. 
We have two to purchase with. Okay, we will buy the land speeder. Okay, so we need five to take out the ship. This stinks. So we will spend six to take out the Imperial Carrier. We will then do two more to Kessel. And that is the end of our turn. Definitely an attack turn next turn. Okay, so they have quite a bit. To, oh, they do not have quite a bit. But they do have nine to purchase with. So they will buy the Thai Interceptor for three. Nope, 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 nope. They will buy Java's Sail Barge. And then they have two. They will buy an Outer Rim Pilot. They then have four to attack five Inquisitors going to move it towards there. Four to attack with. And they will go one, two, three, four. First of all, we don't have anything to purchase with. Your opponent discards one card from their hand at random. It's the lowest cost card. One card from their hand. So they're only going to be purchasing. Your opponent must choose either they discard one card from their hand or this unit gains two. So we get two. So we have seven, eight, nine. Uh, 13, 15, 18. So the good news is we have 10 left over. Kessel is gone. We'll do three here. So we will gain three. We'll do three here, which gives us two. Okay, those are not going to help me at all. And that, my friends, is the end of our turn. Okay, so this is a most unique turn. They do not have anybody, but they do have the Inquisitor to move one with, and they have five to purchase with. And they will, of course, buy, draw one card or two. So we get to draw one card for your opponent discards one card from their hand, so the good news is they are going to discard the Stormtrooper. So that's at least back to normalcy. We have two, three to purchase with. We will buy the Cold or Mystic. We have nothing to move the Force with. We have four, six, nine, eleven, thirteen. Oh, they forgot to reveal their sixty. The beginning of each purchase step spends four to destroy the highest hit point opposing capital ship. If there are any play, there were none in play, so it really doesn't make a difference. Bad news, they're going to continue to do that. Okay, but here's the fun thing. I believe I just said I had sixteen. Um, six, eight, ten, oh, thirteen. And that's it. Wow. Okay, so we did 13 points of damage. 
When you play a neutral card for the first time. Oh, draw a card. <laughs> That's 16 points of damage. That is a win. <laughs> Thank you, Rebel Commando. Thank you, Bespin. I hope you have enjoyed this. I am shocked I actually won this. I was expecting to lose it next turn. Um, so stay tuned after the end of this. I hope that you have a really... <laughs> okay, I really thought I was going to lose this. I'm actually going to... When I'm done here, I'm going to have after this... I guess a B-reel. And I'm going to play the next turn because I'm really curious as to what was going to happen. So I hope you enjoyed this. Please make sure you like and subscribe. And I hope that you have a fantastic day. Please like and subscribe. Okay, so while we just did win, I'm just curious as to what was going to happen here. Because this should be a really harsh turn. So first of all, Sith moves. That gives them 10. 12, 16, yes, that would have been it. I would have lost. <laughs> Little Rebel Commandos, that is fantastic. Not Trooper, Commando, there they are, our heroes of the day. So, thank you guys. Again, I hope you enjoyed this, to see this afterwards. Please make sure you like and subscribe. Have a fantastic day. Oh, wow. And they would have gotten Lando. Yes, they would have gotten Lando. How do you like that? What a scoundrel. And they would have bought the Blockade Runner. And they would not have bought the ATST. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed this. Have a great day. I'll see you later. Please like and subscribe.